The following training is sponsored by the Niagara Library System. We serve our member libraries in Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Please visit your local library homepage and use your library card to get access to streaming videos, downloadable music, audiobooks, ebooks, and even more from the comfort of your own home. Thank you. Hello, good to see everyone today. And I have another video here from uh, Maddie McTech. You should follow him on Facebook. It's really, really good. And uh, I, I hope he doesn't mind me amplifying his ideas. Uh, it's it, Go give him a follow, he's great. Um, this particular one was on the uh, terms of service. And uh, <laughs> the, there's an old internet joke uh, that went around a few years ago that said, uh, what's the biggest lie ever told on the internet? Yes, I have read the terms of service and I agree, yeah. It, nobody does, right? What I did was when I saw this, and I'll have a link to this original video, uh, which I'm not going to play, I promptly went ahead and entered the wrong address <laughs> in my browser. So um, for this Terms of Service Doctor, it's T-O-S-D-R, Terms of Service Doctor, um, you can see you could buy the .com name apparently here from this huge domains um, for uh, around $2,000 right now. I don't want that. So <laughs> it is, uh, to be clear, this is the wrong one. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. And this is the correct website. It's TOSDR.org. So terms of service doctor.org. And what you can do is you can actually uh, use it to get a grade, a general grade on um, any website's terms of service. And so you can see here that uh, they have a browser add-on. Now, I, I keep on looking at these sites and they keep saying they have these browser add-ons and I think you can think of a browser add-on a little bit like an app for a phone. It's kind of like a shortcut for something that you would use a lot or would be interested in. And uh, just to point this out, because it is on the screen, just my example, one of the few browser add-ons I have that you can see here is uh, I have Adblock Plus, that's the little stop sign, and then I do have a Cisco WebEx um, for uh, web meetings and things like that uh, add on a browser extension and all they do is they make the sites or the information pop up a little faster on your screen that's almost like they're preloaded now that's great if you use it all the time for these browser extensions but if you don't use them all the time because they kind of preload they front load information on your computer they can actually eventually slow your computer down so I don't have too many of them if I want to see something generally speaking I can go right to the website or before I get here one of the things you can do is you can actually Google it. So let me pull up the other tab that I have and I literally Googled terms of service doctor and the very first one that pops up here is uh, the front page of the TOSDR.org <laughs> which is the correct website. It's a real website. It's it. It's good. Uh, everything that I've gotten to, uh, as far as sources, uh, Maddie McTech it looks like he's he's you know a legit guy. Seems very nice in his videos. Of course, they're only like ten second videos, um, but that's that's what they are. So, backing up a tab. When I scroll through the uh, TOS, the one thing that is a little weird is I'm looking at like here, for example, Facebook has a grade of E. Amazon has a grade of E. I don't know what that means, E. Uh, Reddit, Wikipedia has a B. Okay, so let me just scroll back up. Before I go anywhere else, I'm gonna go right up here to the upper left corner and it does say ratings. So I'm gonna click on that. When you click on it, it simply jumps down to the current ratings that they have. I have an idea. It looks like if, you know, if they start at the beginning of the alphabet where A is like A, it's really good, and then the letters seem to go down, uh, but I do want to make sure before I make any assumptions. Let's go to the About Us page before we look at anything else, because again, I want to make sure that these ratings are clear before we do anything else. 
And when I click on the About Us page, it talks about that it is a project that started in June of 2012 um, to help fix the biggest lie on the web. That's the joke I said that nobody reads really the terms of service because they're so long and they're so stuffed with legalese that they're very difficult to understand actually. The important one on here is uh, please bear in mind this project is still in the early phase and that most data is subject to important changes. And it does say here more information about our classification. Here we go, like we just thought, which is fine. Uh, it goes green to uh, yellow to orange to red. And uh, they go from the best terms of service and to the worst. So basically it's A through E. Good, bad, blocker, uh, or even maybe neutral, neither here nor there. So, okay, well that's good, good to know. So let me go back to the home page of this and let's just take a look, quick look. When we look at it, uh, some of the most popular services right now are ranking an E, which is bad. <laughs> There's Facebook is a grade E, Amazon is a grade E, Reddit is a grade E, Wikipedia gets a B, and the first uh, service that actually gets a grade A uh, is the search engine DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is uh, fairly well known for its uh, privacy. The more that people use it, the better the results you get on it. Uh, so more people are actually switching to it, so without the company DuckDuckGo or who owns DuckDuckGo storing your personal information like Google does, especially if you have a Google account <laughs> or you have a phone or you're signed into things. Yeah, uh, DuckDuckGo has been uh, over the past probably two or three years, I have noticed because I use it regularly on uh, Firefox, DuckDuckGo has gotten a lot better at returning really good search results almost immediately. So the more that people use it, the better the service is getting, which is fantastic. So I hope that they keep up with their, uh, their grade A uh, privacy service here. Uh, but you can take a look at all of this. It's re really very interesting. You can also go ahead and search for a service here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in Microsoft. They have a couple of things there, Microsoft Store, but Microsoft Services, which runs things like their Xbox gaming system, and that uh, it gets a, an E overall. Bing, pause on cord to class is uh, not, enough, not enough for a rating, no rating yet. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's written in, in French or Spanish, whatever that is, uh, that's so. But Microsoft Services does have enough information to class and uh, it gets an E for bad, very bad. Oh my goodness. So not a lot of really good ratings. Actually, let me take a look to another big uh, service is uh, the PlayStation. So that's from Sony. So let me put in Sony. Uh, and Sony PlayStation actually has no grade yet. Uh, Sony was subject to a rather large breach, an email release a couple of years ago. And so, it, but they, this particular site doesn't have enough information just yet, which is, it's, it's in a beta version as more and more people put information in, then they'll get more and more information to give out. I hope you found this interesting. I certainly did. I'll have all the links in the description and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye now.